Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this overhanging beam. This is an overhanging beam with the given dimension and there are different forces acting on this beam. Two are the moments and one is concentrated load acting at this point of the beam. So the moments are 2 kN meter and 4 kN meter acting at different points on this beam and there is a pointed load of 3 kN acting at the center of the simply supported portion of the beam. So we have to analyze this beam and we have to find out the support reactions and to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this beam. So let's consider this is support A and this is support B. Hence they will resist the vertical reaction RA and it will be RB. Now to start with the support reactions we can take let's suppose the summation of moment at any point equal to zero and let's suppose the moment at point B equal to zero. And let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative. So we will take all the moments about point B. The moment formula is force into moment arm. Now this is a given moment which is 2 kN meter and it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So we will take this in the negative direction minus 2 because in the anti-clockwise direction the moment is negative. This is just our sign convention for this problem. So minus 2 kN meter is the anti-clockwise moment about point B so it is minus 2. Now there is a 2 there is a RA reaction acting in the upper direction and it will create moment about point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be plus RA into moment arm. Moment arm is the distance from A point up to B which is 2 meter plus 2 meter 4 meter. Now 3 kN will also create the moment about point B but it will create in anti-clockwise direction so it will be taken as negative. Minus 3 multiplying it with the moment arm 3 the moment arm is the distance from this 3 kN up to point B which is 2 meter. There is also moment of 4 kN meter acting in the clockwise direction about point B so it will be plus 4. So summation of all the moment about point B equal to 0. Now we can simply find out this 4RA. If we shift all this within to the right side so we got plus 6 plus 2 and minus 4. From this we got here 4. So RA comes out to be 4 divided by 4. So RA is equal to 1 kN. So this is the support reaction here is 1 kN. Now how to find out RB simply by using this equation summation of vertical force is equal to 0. Let's suppose the upward force is taken as positive and the downward force is taken as negative. Or also we can directly write it, write it here that it is 2 kN. Because total load is 3 kN, 1 kN is taken by this support. So the 2 kN will be of course taken by this support. But we have to find it by the equation method. So let's suppose summation of phi equal to 0 and upper forces are taken as positive. So upper forces are RA and RB. They are taken as positive. The downward force is taken as negative which is 3 kN. So minus 3 equal to 0. Summation of all the vertical forces equal to 0. So now RB will be equal to the 3 minus RA. So RB is equal to 3 minus RA is 1 kN. So RB comes out to be 2 kN. So it is 2 kN. Now after finding out the support reactions, we will draw the reference line now. These are the reference lines for the shear force and bending moment diagram. So this is for the shear force and this is for the bending moment diagram. So this is for the shear force diagram. The unit of the shear force it will be kN and bending moment diagram the unit will be in kN meter. Now these are the horizontal reference lines. So we will start from these reference lines 0, 0 and for the shear force diagram we will start from this left end. So there is no load from this end. So we will make a straight line 0 kN, 0 kN and up to this point there is no load acting on this beam. 
So there will be zero shear force. Now R A is one kN acting in the upward direction. So acting in the upward direction. So I will bring this arrow in the upward direction with a magnitude of one kN. This is one kN magnitude. So it will be one the unit of kN. Newton. So one kN. Newton. Then there is no load on the beam. So it will be a straight line. Then there is a downward load of three kN. Newton. So one was in plus direction and downward force is 3 kN, so 1 minus 3 equal to minus 2. So I will bring this line in the downward direction and below the reference line in minus 2. Then there is no load on the beam, so it will be a straight line. Then there is upward load of 2 kN, so upward load will be again taken as in the upward direction. This is minus 2 and this is plus 2, so minus 2 into plus 2 we got 0. So we will make the, we will close this shear box here at this point. So this is positive shear box and this is negative shear box. Now to draw the bending moment diagram. So it should be kept in mind that our assumption was that the clockwise moment was taken as positive and the anti-clock moment was taken as negative. So we will start from this end. The 0, 0 is the reference line. So there is no moment at this distance, 2 meter distance. So it will be a straight line. Now there is a anti-clockwise moment here, 2 kN meter. So anti-clock will be taken as negative. So we will bring this in the downward direction. So it will be minus 2. Then there is no load or no shear force. So it will be a straight line. Then there is a shear box here. We can see here. So we will find the area of this shear box. So let's suppose this is A1 area of the box. The area of this is a rectangle box. We can see here the height is 1 and the width or the breadth is 2 meter. So 1 into 2, this will be the area of this rectangle. So A1 is equal to B into H and 1 into 2, we got here A, A, A1 area is equal to 2. So 2 is the kilonewton meter is the moment. The area of the shear force box will give us the moment value. So this is plus 2 because it is acting in the upward direction, is a positive shear box. So minus 2, if we add with plus 2, we will get 0. So this will become 0 at this point. Now there is again shear box with a height of minus 2 and the base is 2 meter. So the area of this rectangle will be minus 2 into 2. So A2 will be minus 4 kN meter. This is the moment value. So we will bring this here up to this point. Minus 4. So it is minus 4 kN meter is the moment value at this point. Now there is no load acting on this beam or no shear force. There is no shear box here. So it will be a straight line. And then there is a moment 4 kN meter acting in the clockwise direction. So it is taken as positive. So this was minus 4. And this is plus 4 kN meter. So it will be equal to 0. So it, I will bring this line up to 0. So the bending moment box will be closed here at this point. So this is the bending moment diagram for this beam. Now it should be also kept in mind when there is a shear force of 0 degree so the bending moment diagram will be of 1 degree. Let's suppose this is a horizontal line with a 0 degree and this is also horizontal line with a 0 degree. 0 degree means it is a horizontal line. So the bending moment diagram can be seen that it is a linear line of 1 degree. And similarly this was 0 degree so it is 1 degree line or the linear line. Because the bending moment diagram is always one degree greater than the shear force diagram. Hope you guys understand how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.